Okay, one of my favorite looks to do, the pinup girl. We're with Marisha, so let's get started. Uh, brows, of course, are an integral part of this look. So let's start first by just fluffing up her eyebrow, getting it where we want. So you notice her hair color is medium dark. Of course, you always disregard any kind of stripings of color. Really go with the, with the heart of the color of the hair when you're picking the eyebrow color. But for this particular look, we're going to enhance it even further. So I'm gonna be mixing a brown and a black brow color to create her brow. And I'm using a very thin brush because what I wanna do is I wanna create almost a razor-like edge to the appearance of the brow. Super, super crisp. So I'm working on a flat line starting from the inner corner of the eye. I'm extending this line upward till it just about pokes through the top of the eyebrow. And right from there, along the top ridge of the eyebrow, I'm gonna draw down. And I like this little brush because I'm gonna make that little razor thin edge to her eye. And I'm going to hyperextend it. Open please, I'm gonna go past the corner of her eye. I want that, I want this to stick out just a little bit farther. All right, hyperextend. Now we're gonna gently fluff up this darker shadow right along the base of the lash, but I'm not gonna take it up very high. I'm just gonna let it ride low on the lash bed so there's a lot of dark depth along the bottom side of her eyebrow, just like this. I'm gonna leave the top from here out as skinny as possible, just disregarding all the hairs underneath. Um, another thing that I like to do is just take a little bit of a, you can use a brow gel, why not? This is a clear mascara, and I'm gonna grab those hairs. I'm gonna collect them and make them look very unified. Then I'm gonna finger style the top of this look to really collect those brows, to give her a real nice finish to her eyebrow. Great, perfect, going on. Eyeshadow base, I'm using a wide concealer brush I like a wide brush because it just gets the job done faster, goes on smoother. I'm gonna sweep this across her entire eye. So the pinup girl is kind of a classic. You can also call it a 40s look because this is where this look was born, uh, actually during World War II, but it became a classic look. So heck, let's have some fun with it. So what I want you to do is take a almost pearly white to white satiny eyeshadow, and I want you to just press that on top of the eyelid. I really want you to make the eyelid pop this way. So a nice pearly white over the whole eyelid. And I want you to layer it a little bit. See, I'm doing a second layer. It's going, getting much deeper and brighter. So when I say deeper, I mean not darker, but more saturated in its white satin -ness. Open, please. So look at that, super, super pretty. Now the contour has to look super natural. So pick your most natural looking taupe shadow Start from the outer corner and blend that color across the crease this way. Um, open a little bit more, perfect. I had her open her eye a little bit just to make sure I was capturing her crease just right. Just like that. And I'm gonna create a nice natural crease right in her eye there. But you want it, you want it to be almost um, not visible to the naked eye, but yet we know it's there. It has to look like a very natural shadow. Making it a little bit darker, and I'm taking it past the center of her eye. Open your eye a little bit more, perfect. For some reason with her eye, it helps me to have her open her eye a little bit to capture her crease. Open please. So you see how that kind of pops her eye. That looks really, really good. Then I'm going to take a um, neutral eye shadow, and I'm gonna use that just along her brow bone and that's just gonna neutralize the top. You wanna to keep the top matte with this look. So you want the ball of the eye to have all that glow. Look down, please. The bottom of the eye has the glow, nice crease, and then you have a matte color on top. Okay, now comes some liner definition time. And what I mean by that is uh, there's such a thing called an eye line, and that's what I'm gonna draw right now. And then after I draw the eye line, I'm gonna draw an art line. I'm gonna tell you what the difference is. So. First thing is look down slightly for me. When I do this look, I really like to bury the eye with liner, so I start going underneath. I'm using a waterproof liner, so it's not gonna get in her eye at all. 
It's just gonna set, it's gonna behave. Close, please. And now I'm gonna take that same liner, I'm gonna work from the top of her eye line. And what I'm doing right now is I'm doing her eye line, meaning I'm filling in where her lashes grow. That is her eye line. Anything above and beyond that is a distortion of the eye line, and that becomes an art line. And that's what we're gonna do next. So I'm gonna take this liner all the way in. The pinup girl has a fully lined eye, so look up and then to the right, please. Look up and then over to the right, perfect. And then I'm gonna just brush this right on the inner corner of the eye, taking it all the way down. Perfect, all right, good. So that's the eye line. See, the lashes look thicker, but now we're gonna create the art line. Now for me, drawing that line, some people call it a cat eye, whatever you wanna call it, close please. I like to start out here and I like to draw it in. That way my point is very much a point. If I brush out to it, it ends up looking kind of messy. Now from here, from that, from that tip, I'm gonna fill in down to the corner of the eye. And what I create when I do this is like that perfect little pinup girl eye line poking out of the corner of the eye. And I can just keep extending it a little bit, getting exactly what I want. Open please. And we get this nice little flip to her eye. That's super smoking hot. Really easy to do. Turn towards me, close. Got a little bit of schmutz right there. And I'll clean that up a little bit, but look straight ahead. And there you go, that is the perfect pinup girl eye. If you're watching this at MakeupGourmet.com, I've listed my current favorite products to achieve this look. Click on one and try it. If you're not at MakeupGourmet.com, go there now to see my favorite product picks for this look, as well as everything else we have to offer. How to apply, what to buy. MakeupGourmet.com